Well, good morning. I thought I, you know, I always say good morning, but I never know what time you're watching this. But for me, it's good morning. Um, pay no attention to the messy refrigerator. I love magnets. <laughs> I stick them all on the side of my fridge. I got things hanging. I can't hang any, luckily, I can't hang anything on the front of the refrigerator. Um, the magnets don't work. Boy, I wish I could figure out. There we go. Just got to look down. I don't know if I like that. Anyway, um, today I thought I'd do a really quick little video to direct you over to my new channel. Um, I've started a new channel called Let's Get Fit with Sandy. I've said this, I know you're getting tired of hearing it, but for people that haven't been following me every single day, um, my sister Denise started the other channel, the original channel of Let's Get Fit, and um, the AdSense account is in her name, and she wants to start doing quilting and craft videos on that channel. And um, so um, I'm trying to move everybody over to my new channel, Let's Get Fit with Sandy. I'm still going to do the Weight Watchers. Uh, Denise doesn't do Weight Watchers anymore. If you've ever looked at any of the older videos and you're wondering who that was, that was my sister Denise who actually started the channel. And um, she's no longer following Weight Watchers, so she doesn't want to do a weight loss channel. And so therefore I'm directing you over to my other channel. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description box. If I remember, I'll try to make a comment on this video. And if you just click on my picture, I'll have an orange hat on. Um, and um, just go over to my new channel and subscribe over there. If you hit the bell, you'll hear my, you'll see my video when it comes up. I usually try to post it between nine and 10 o'clock at night. It's usually, that's my goal every night, to try to get it up around there uh, if I don't have any issues with my internet. Um, the problem with my internet is I have AT&T, which I absolutely love. I don't love the direct TV, but I love the U-verse. But um, the way I'm situated in my subdivision, all the houses around me all have AT&T. So if we're all on the internet at the same time, we're all kind of drawing power. I do have high speed, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything, as that I've been told more than once by their representatives. But I, I do like the U-verse. But anyway, uh, today I thought I'd talk about shifting your mindset. Um, I always start off with a quote, as you know, if you followed me for a while. My quote is, what you think determines how you feel. And how you feel determines what you do. And that's so true, if you just think about it. What you think determines how you feel, and how you feel determines what you do. Um, if you're having a really crappy day, you're going to turn to food if you're anything like me. Uh, it's it's comfort. It's just what we, you know, like, think of when you were a kid and you fell down. Your mother always gave you something. When you went to the doctors and got a shot, you got a sucker. Uh, when you go to the dentist and you get a tooth pulled when you were a kid, or even just when you got your teeth cleaned, at least when my kids went to the dentist, not when I went to the dentist, but when my kids went to the dentist, there was a, uh, a little treasure chest that they could go in and they could uh, figure out, you know, what they wanted to get. When I went to the dentist, it was a whole nother story. We didn't go very often because it cost money. And, you know, looking back now, I realize I was poor, but uh, and we had a really bad dentist. He was a really bad dentist. I wouldn't even give you his name. That's how bad he was. Um, but anyway, uh, different things that you can do, though, is, number one, identify your thoughts. Uh, think about um, how you feel. Why are you... Why are you feeling sad? Why are you feeling happy? You know, you can go to a party and be happy and you can eat. And you're just, a lot of times it's just mindless eating. We had a family reunion the other day and I um, could have very very easily mindlessly ate all of the good food that everybody brought because <clears throat> it was everybody brought a dish. And so I um, identified what I wanted to eat. There was foods that I wanted to eat that I don't make on an everyday basis, and I tracked them, and I had just a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's from Fiddler on the Roof. Um, but anyway, um, I just, you know, and so I, I filled that craving for what I wanted, yet when I walked around to talk to people, I brought my water with me. So whenever I thought I was hungry, I'd take a sip of my water, and I find that if I drink it with a straw that, uh, it, it goes down so much easier. Like, what was that? A little bit. A little teaspoon of sugar makes the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Yeah. But anyway, we don't want to eat the sugar, though. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you might want to have some sugar. If, you, if you're really craving that candy, get those little miniatures. Uh, like a Hershey Kiss is only one point. So have a, have a Hershey Kiss. 
and identify why you really want to eat. Are you truly, truly hungry? Are you eating because you're sad? Are you eating because you're happy? Identify the thought before you eat so you're more aware of why you're eating. Uh, if you're sad and that cookie's going to make you feel better, have the cookie, but track it. Track the cookie, and then as you're tracking the cookie, just kind of write, put a little smiley face or a happy face beside it. Um, not so much like the happy face that you're sorry that you, you ate the cookie, but this little, put a little explanation, feeling sad, feeling low, feeling down. You know, just so you can identify. And then maybe when you go back and think about it, you'll think, why was I so sad? If you're happy, just, you know, like put happy, saw somebody that you like. Just a quick little note. You know, journaling doesn't have to be like time consuming. Although I do know that it does take a little bit of time to take out. I heard you, I heard you, Valerie Reese. I heard you. Uh, it does take time to sit down and write in a journal. But a lot of times if you just have a, like a little something piece of paper or something next to you just like a stick it a post-it note or something and just write something really quick and then just stick it in a notebook when you get home you know like put all these little stickums in, in the book you know you don't have to sit down and write in a journal you can just write a little thing on a little post-it note and then post it in your journal later on sometimes it's kind of cool to just to go back in that um, Julie Hasselberg has a big jar uh, like a fish bowl and she puts like things that happen to her and she puts it in the bowl and then at the end of the year she just randomly picks one or two out to see how how her year went and just to see like on this particular day this happened and I did like that idea I was gonna do it and somehow I forgot about it till just now it just clinked clinked in my brain uh, number two is be self-compassionate you know think of yourself as your own best friend would you really talk to your own best friend the way you talk to yourself now sometimes you can be brutally honest with a best friend and that's the that's the beauty of having a best friend because a best friend you can tell them exactly what they need to hear just a friend you might not say you know that haircut looks terrible on you but a really good best friend you would just you could say you know, you got a haircut, but you know, you should have been paying a little more attention or something. I have, a, maybe it's just me. I have best friend. I have two best friends. My sisters are my best friends too, because you can tell your sisters just about anything. But I have two best friends and I can be brutally honest with them and they can be brutally honest with me. And we just know that, you know, there's a point where you can't go over the line. I'm not saying that you, there's a line. There definitely is a line you're not supposed to cross. But with a best friend, you know that line and you know right where it's at. Uh, number three, embrace happiness now. Be happy now. Don't think, well, when I lose 40 pounds, I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to feel so good. No. Be Embrace every little pound you lose. Embrace every little point one pound that you lose because... That's an accomplishment. I know a lot of times when you have a gain, you, lose, you gain point one, you say, oh, I could, should have just went pee and I would have lost it. But then when you lose point one, you go, oh, it's only point one. But you know, it's going in the right direction. That's all that really matters. So you just gotta remember to embrace your happiness today. Don't, don't wait for your big reveal because your life is gonna get past you. It's gonna take you a while to lose your weight. You're not gonna lose it overnight. And you're gonna be happy along the way if you really embrace it. And number four is to live mindfully. Just think about what you're doing each day. Think about how much exercise you're getting, how much walking you're doing, um, what you're eating, just your life in general. Think of how fortunate. There's always going to be sadness in your family. You're always going to have somebody at some point in your life is going to die or somebody's going to disappoint you. Um, there's so many variables in life that you know like you just got to move on is all and you just got to live mindfully and just know this is just one day this is just one day I just get through this one day and I'll be fine I'll just get through it and tomorrow will be a whole new day and maybe even later in the afternoon might be even a better day so anyway those are my um, tips for shifting your mindset please subscribe to my other channel uh, let's get fit with Sandy if you type it into the just uh, into the uh, YouTube search bar you have to put it all as one word, all small letters. Um, no apostrophe in the let's, just L-E-T-S-G-E-T-F-I-T-W-I-T-H-S-A-N-D-Y. -E 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 and um, I'm gonna try to remember to put a comment down below. Click on my picture, I'll have an orange hat on in my picture. And that'll bring you over to my channel. Subscribe and hit the bell. On September 1st until 
September 7th. I'm going to have a giveaway each day for my new, not my new, anybody that subscribes. Well, you'd be new subscribers because you're new to my channel. But for all my subscribers, um, you need to subscribe to be part of the giveaway. And um, what else was I going to say? I was going to tell you something else. Where's the crayons? I don't know. Um, and then um, i got to find Chris to feel the crayons. But anyway, click on the box below, subscribe. Oh, on October 1st, I'm going to be completely devoted to doing all of my videos on the Let's Get Fit with Sandy. So between now and then, I'll be doing a video on both channels. But please come over to my other channel and subscribe. So give this video a like. Subscribe to my other channel and uh, leave a comment. Give me suggestions on how um, I can entice people to come over and join me on my new channel. So I'll see you guys on Let's Get Fit with Sandy tonight at 9 o'clock.